Hey everyone, we're joined here with Chris Smith. He's going to do a walkthrough of the Dev Alpha C. So this is the uh, the new Dev Alpha C that uh, we we actually haven't given them away yet, but uh, we've talked about making them available to developers, and we are launching the 10.1 beta SDK for development on the Q10 uh, today at BlackBerry Jam Europe. So. Uh, as you can see, we have, uh, of course, the Z10, which, uh, which was launched last week. Uh, and the, the Q10 is the version with the keyboard, and the Dev Alpha C is our, our developer prototype uh, that we're giving to developers so that they can, they can build and test their applications on actual hardware. Uh, so, I mean, of course, first thing you'll notice is it has the full keyboard, uh, has a 720 by 720 screen, it's still full touch. And one of the things we're really trying to emphasize down here for developers is that you know by using the uh, the core frameworks uh, that we provide and Cascades and WebWorks, uh, it makes it very easy for you to target you know both form factors uh, with your with your applications. So we've already taken all of the samples that we built uh, for Cascades and brought them over to uh, to the Dev Alpha C. So if I bring up, for example, the standard cookbook, you can see it's I mean it's just the list. Scrolls. It's uh, right. we didn't have to change anything to be able to get that behavior. It just obviously it's a, the screen's a little shorter, so it you know you only get four items and you scroll a little longer. But uh, you know all of the stock layouts uh, just adjust automatically to fit the screen. You still have you know capabilities like being able to peek back into the application. Right. All of this comes for free. You don't have to do anything different on you know the Dev Alpha right. uh, and on the Z10 than you'll have to do on the on the Q10. And that's, uh, that's what we're providing the Dev Alpha C. And what we're seeing is, um, you know, we already have, uh, for example, some of our some of our partners, uh, you know, finding out how easy it is to get their apps up and running on the Q10 uh, or on the Dev Alpha C. So we have uh, here Nobex, which you know, is a great uh, great music radio app. Uh, they've got it already in, in App World today on um, on the Z10, and uh, you can see I've got you know a bunch of radio stations. I've got my Cascades uh, you know menus, crosscut menus from the side. I can check out podcasts, uh, and I can you know, kind of go through and download them on the uh, the Dev Alpha C. So on the Q10, you know exact same menuing uh, capability. I still have the same you know, the same list view, the same ability to. Uh, to jump into the application, and, uh, and I, get, I get all of this for free. So, nice. so Nobex is, is you know going to have you know a very easy time of getting their application up and running exactly as they uh, they want it on the uh, on the Q10, uh, having already you know developed for the for the Z10. Right. So another feature that we were showing off today with um, uh, with some of the deep integration is you know when I use the volume control, this is the standard volume control on the side. I get you know the ability to uh, as an application plugged directly into that. So I've got my Novex radio connected and it's playing in the background and as soon as I touch the volume control to adjust it I get I get you know uh, kind of album art on what's playing on the radio and I get this little control to be able to manage it and all of this is like showing how deeply integrated a yeah. third-party application can be in the experience yeah, and that's you know, the same experience on the Z10 uh, you know or on the Q10. Very nice. And this will be seeding sometime in March, correct? Yeah, we're planning to, uh, to release the Dev Alpha C uh, to the community in March, uh, but the SDK for development on the Q10, uh, the 10.1 new beta is available as of today. Right, and developers can uh, take a, like, use of the Ripple emulator, right, for the, the Q10 as well? Absolutely. I mean, the Ripple emulator, uh, we have updates to, to all of our development environments to, to make it very easy to simulate and run your applications on the, on the Q10 simulators. That's all available as of today. Excellent, excellent. Thank you very much. Appreciate no it.